بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has given us a'mal 24 hours of the day so that in the short life of this world we can capitalize on akhirah like how in the worldly sense people are concerned for their lives, so they have life insurance, car insurance, riot, flood insurance, etc. People are concerned and they need to make sure they covered. The Amal of Nubuat covers us from all angles. Insurance is like a bet. I'm betting this car will get stolen. The insurance company is betting it shouldn't get stolen. If it does get stolen, then the person wins and he gets paid off. But in today's terms, in the worldly sense, the fine print deprives a person. So we not rather rely on Allah and His Rasul than relying on the people of dunya. As for the masala, that we need to ask the muftiya and the ulama. But the point being made is, that we bypass the system and the sunnah of Allah. And this should be our priority in life. So there was a plumber who attended to a leaking faucet at a neurosurgeon's house. So within two minutes he was done and he said, uh, I need $150. So the neurosurgeon was shocked and exclaimed, I don't even charge that amount as a brain surgeon. So the plumber replied, I agree 100%, that is true. I also didn't when I was a surgeon. That's why I switched to plumbing. That's why I switched to plumbing. So wherever there's benefit to people of the dunya go, how come when there is benefit for akhirat, the people of deen are not going there? So there was a doctor who was talking to a car mechanic and said, your fee is several times more than what I get paid for my medical care. So the mechanic said, I agree with you, doctor, 100%. But the difference is you have the same model all the time. Since Adam والسلام, the model hasn't changed. It's the same standard model. But we mechanics have to keep up to date with new models coming out every year. There's a new model. Well, as you fortunate that uh, your model is the same. So your Berlin system will be lower. So in the dunya terms, the people of the dunya can justify their actions. Can I justify my actions? For how much do I know of Deen and do how much have I spent in my life to acquire knowledge of dunya? So the knowledge of Nubuat is the ultimate knowledge. As the Muhammad ibn Kaab narrates, that once a group of Sahaba were on their way to Rome, when one Sahabi fell from his horse and broke his leg, Sahaba could not carry him, so they tied the horse left some provisions for the Sahabi and proceeded with the journey. So as he was there, he heard an unseen voice which said, what happened? So he narrated the incident. So the voice instructed him to read, Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arshil azim. He placed his hand on that spot of the affected area and he was cured immediately and he returned to join the Jamaat. So Amal of Nubuwa. Man Qala, riwayat of Abu Darda radiallahu and uh, it's mentioned in Kanjul Umal, Rawaw Abu Dawood in Abu Dawood, Iza Asbaha wa Iza Amsa, morning and evening, Sab Amarat, seven times, the same dua. Asbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkaltu wa rabbul arshil azim. Kafahu Allahu ma ahammahu min amri dunya wal akhirah. 
Allah will suffice for his worries, his concerns, his grief, his anxieties, his stress. Allah will suffice for all those needs. Sadiqan kana aw kadhiban. Whether he is saying those adiyya dua with his heart in concentration or he is ghafil and negligent still to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will suffice. Ibn Qayyim has mentioned that here also seven times if we look in Sharia there is a significance of seven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created seven heavens, seven earths, the days are seven, there are seven tawaf, safa, marwa, sa'i, seven, pelting of the shayateen, seven, when a child is seven years old, then you should encourage them for salat. Likewise, seven is mentioned in the story of Yusuf salam and the Sadaqah also, also Allah SWT multiplies it, the word number seven comes, 70,000 will enter Jannah without Hisab Kitab. So he says, فَلَا رَيْبَ أَنَّ لِهَذَا الْعَدَدِ خَاسِيَةً that this number has a speciality and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the hikmat and the wisdom of this number. So morning and evening seven times, let us make it our mamul and habit to try to read this dua daily. Likewise, when a person is ill or a person has pain on his body, then the riwayat of Uthman ibn Abil As radiyallahu an, where he went to Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam and he said that I've got strict severe pain on my body. So Nabi alayhi salam taught him that place your hand on the area which is affected and say Bismillah three times, then seven times say أعوذ بعزة الله وقدرته من شر ما أجد وأحاذر. Say this seven times. This riwayat is in Muslim Abu Dawood Tirmizi. The Sabi says, ففعلت ذلك. I did that. فأذهب الله ما كان بي. And whatever pain I had was removed and I continue to encourage my family, this is a mujarab practice amal, that when you would read this dua, that area of pain would be cured. Likewise, if a person is ill and uh, he should say the following dua. This narration also is mentioned in Tirmizi and in Hakim and uh, there are other riwayat also to substantiate Nasai ibn Majah ibn Hibban etc. So a person who is ill says La ilaha illallah wallahu akbar La ilaha illallah wahdahu La ilaha illallah wa la sharika lah لا إله إلا الله له الملك وله الحمد لا إله إلا الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله Whoever says this في مرضه and he is ill ثم مات and he passes away لم تطعمه النار the fire of جهنم will not touch this person. The fire of Jahannam will not touch that person. Another riwayat, ثُمَّ مَاتَ فِي ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ غُفِرَ لَهُ ذَنْبُهُ Likewise, his sins will be forgiven. So consider this person a jannati. Then among the adiyya, is to make dua for afiyat. Sallallahu al-afwa wal-afiyah. Ask Allah for forgiveness and afiyah. 
because nobody will be given any gift more better after yaqeen than afia ma min da'watin yadu bihi al-'abd there is no dua more virtuous for a servant to ask after yaqeen then afia and uh, there are different masnoon adiya amongst them is allahumma inni as'aluka al-'afwa wal-'afiyata wal-mu'afata ad-da'ima fi ad-din wa ad-dunya wal-akhirah so this should be part of our daily ma'mul and habit in every dua to say thus Likewise, the riwayat of Ibn Umar radiyallahu anhuma that Nabi alayhi salam morning and evening never ever left this dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyata fi dunya wal-akhira. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyata fi dini wa dunyaya wa ahli wa mali. Allahumma astur awrati wa amin raw'ati. اللهم احفظني من بين يدي ومن خلفي وان يميني وان شمالي ومن فوقي ومن تحتي واعوذ بعظمتك ان اختال من تحتي so this is also amongst the adiya which nabi ali salatu wassalam never left we should make it part of our daily routine then لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله to say thus, why? فَإِنَّهَا كَنْزٌ مِنْ كُنُوزِ الْجَنَّةِ Rewind on Bukhari and Muslim. It is a treasure from amongst the treasures of Jannah. Likewise, a person who has sickness, illness, then he should say thus often, مَنْ قَالَ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Whoever says this, كَانَ دَوَاءً مِنْ تِسْأَةِ وَتِسْعِينَ دَعْ That this is a cure, a remedy, a solution for 99 illnesses. أَيْ سَرُهَا أَلْهَمْ Among the lightest of illnesses is the illness of grief or in today's time, tension. Stress, worry, anxiety. So grief is part of psychological trauma, maybe mental problems, mental illness as well. So a person who's got psychotic behavior as well should read this dua often. من أنعم الله عليه نعمة فراد بقاءها when Allah has favored anybody with bounties, bestowed him with these bounties and he wants these bounties to remain, فَالْيُكْثِرْ Then he should say excessively, لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ This should be his daily routine and habit to say this. A person came to Nabi and he said, Ya Rasool Allah, ما لقيت من أقرب a scorpion had bit me. So Nabi Allah Sallam said, لو قلت حين أمسيت if only you said. So morning and evening we should make it a habit to read this dua ya. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق. رواية of مسلم and ترمذي. So three times whoever says this ya. Then it will not harm him. So no insect, no sting, no bite. He becomes immune from all bites. So Suhail, the one of the Rawi says, وَكَانَ أَهْلُنَا That it has a habit that our family, everybody learned it and they should make amal and practice on it. فَلَدَ غَجَّارِيَةً مِّنْهُمْ one of the kids, it happened one day that they got bitten. But that child never experienced any pain whatsoever. He never experienced any pain whatsoever. Imagine how powerful. There's so much poisons, toxins on earth. 
just this dua three times morning and evening is so powerful. Ma min abdin yaqulu fi sabah. If a person reads this dua three times morning and evening, Bismillah alladhi la yadurru ma'a ismihi shayun fil ardi wa la fil sama. Wa huwa as-sami'u al-alim. And he says this three times. فَيَضُرَّهُ شَيْءٍ Nothing will harm him. So, Aban had paralysis. And he was narrating this. So the person started staring at him. So Aban said, مَا تَنْذُرُوا I know you are wondering. What has happened to me? How come am I paralyzed? Then he said, don't have doubt in the hadith. Whatever I have narrated to you is true. وَلَكِنِّي لَمْ أَقُلْهُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ Allah made it such that that day that I became paralyzed, I was made to forget to read the dua. لِيُمْذِيَ اللَّهُ قَدَرَهُ So that Allah's destiny could continue and be executed. So how much yaqeen this person had in the dua and he never had ishkal, he was still narrating the narration. He did sometimes one thing goes wrong and we give up now the billah and Allah and his Rasul or we show we are genuine and persist. Likewise a dua for protection if a person says morning and evening, so we are looking for security we are looking for, for safety. Whoever says morning and evening, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Ma sha Allah kana wa ma lam yasha lam yakun. A'lam anna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Wa anna Allah qad haata bi kulli shayin ilma. Hufiza hatta yumsi. A person says this year, until the evening he will be protected. Likewise, if he says it in the evening, till the morning he will be protected. So these amal of Nubuwa are for our benefit. Let us try to make a note, go to ulama and start learning these ad'iyya. Likewise, in the riwayat of Tirmizi, Nasa'i, where the Sahabi says that we went out one evening and it was very rainy and dark. So Nabi Ali Islam said, Say, I didn't say anything. Thumma qala, qul say. Again he said, Say. So I said, Ya Rasulullah, ma aqulu, what, I, what should I be saying? Teach me. So Nabi Ali Islam, Said, Qul huwa Allah wahad wal mu'awadhatayn. Say Surah Ikhlas. And the mu'awadhatayn, Qul a'udhu bi Rabbi al-Falaq, and Qul a'udhu bi Rabbi al-Nas. Morning and evening three times. Yakfika min kulli shay. It will suffice for you for everything. Mula Ali Qari is quoted in his Mirqat from Alama Tibi. تَدْفَعُ عَنْكَ كُلَّ سُوءٍ Every form of evil you will be protected. Evil of men, evil of jinn, evil of shayateen, evil of black magic and witchcraft. And some alumni and scholars have said, it will suffice for you for all wazifas. Means amongst the most powerful wazayif, in words a person should utilize for their protection would be this du'aya. Man kana hina yusbihu. Likewise, whoever says morning and evening, fa subhanallah hina tumsoon wa hina tusbihun wa lahu alhamdu fi samawati wal ard wa ashiyan wa hina tuzhirun yukhriju al hayya min al mayyid wa yukhriju al mayyid min al hayy. The ayat of Surah Rum وَيُحْيِي الْأَرْضِ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُنْ 
So, a person who reads us here, this narration is in Abu Dawood, Tabrani, etc. in different kitabs. Adraka ma fatahu dhalika. So, the shortcomings of the amal that a person normally would be doing, and for some reason there was a deficiency, then they will get the full reward. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.